Max Park just got the Tibet World Record single with a time of 3.13, breaking Yishang Du's record from 5 years ago. His solution for this solve is just beautiful, so I just had to share the solution with you guys. Here's the scramble if you want to try it out. Immediately we see a lot of lines, which is great for crosses, but the best color has to be white. These pieces are ready in place, this is one move for being solved, and this is also pretty much one move for being solved. So already we have a 4 move cross, which is really nice, but it gets better. If you notice the cross we make, we have a free corner here with the white, orange, and blue. So whenever you get a free corner like that, you want to insert the edge piece before you make the cross, that way you have an X cross. The most obvious way to do this is, right after you make the cross, instead of aligning the cross like this, we can first insert this edge piece here, then solve the cross. Now we have a white X cross, but it gets even better. Notice when we do that, when we insert this edge piece, we also insert this corner by accident. So instead of just inserting this one edge, which solves one piece, let's instead solve two pieces by placing this corner also in its right place. This one is the green, red, white corner that belongs here. So let's move the bottom layer and then insert these two together. Now we solved an edge and a corner at the same time, which is some pretty insane seal slotting to be planning an inspection. Finally, as mentioned before, whenever you solve a corner, you want to solve its corresponding edge. The corresponding edge is right here, the red green, and that edge is right here. So before we fully align this cross, let's make sure to solve this edge. We can't insert this edge right now because that will mess up this corner. So let's first misalign the cross, then insert this edge into the back. And then with a final D move, we have a double X cross. I'm not sure if you saw this in inspection, but a free pair is made after that. Just solve this in the back. Now for the last pair, this is pretty straightforward. We'll just solve this as normal. So we'll set it up like this, and then we'll solve it in the back. Now we have a fat spin for Olo, you can do it with your left hand, or you can do it from the back with your right hand. Max does this from the back because it's better for this angle. And then PL skip, and you solve the whole cube. This solve just shows the importance of planning ahead. You could just do a four move cross, but if you see a solve corner, why not insert the edge first? And if you see a free corner, why not insert that corner as well? This double X cross is what allowed Max Park to get such a fast time with this scramble. Yes, the PLO skip was pretty lucky and the double X cross was also pretty lucky. However, there was a lot of skill and planning that went to this solve, which shows how great of a solver Max Park is. Now you guys have been flaming me about my world record predictions from my last video, but this one is actually pretty accurate. I predicted this to happen this month, which it did, and the time prediction is not horrible. In addition, I posted this prediction two weeks ago. And this one's even more accurate, showing Max Park will get this record pretty much this week. So suck my official prediction wasn't exactly right, but my old prediction was actually so close. So thanks for watching this video. Huge congrats to Max Park for breaking this 5-year-old record. And here's my prediction for the next 2 by 3 world record. Hopefully this one ages a bit better.